Yesterday was this week's new comic book day, so it's time to go ahead and take a look at what's next, and that is my top 10 FOC comic picks for Final Order Cutoff due next Monday, September 18th, 2023. If you see anything from Lunar, specifically DC, that you like, you're going to want to get those orders in by end of day Sunday, September 17th, 2023. I did want to remind you I do have my PayPal and my Venmo in the description of the video if you want to support the channel, help me grow technologically and do some more videos. I can buy some books out there, do reviews, stuff like that. But without further ado, let's get started. And first up we have a few cover buys here. Starting off with this one at number 10. Avengers Inc. number two. This is the John Tyler Christopher variant where he's showing a lot of really awesome older styles of these comic book characters. You got Thor, Ant-Man, Iron Man, Wasp, and the Hulk. I know everybody's disappointed with how Hulk has been in the MCU, so here you got a nice little uh, look at what he should look like in the MCU and hopefully looks like again really soon. Moving on to number nine, we have, okay, so this one's not out yet, but I wanted to make you aware that there is a spine-tingling Spider-Man number one Scotty Young variant that, okay, so it's a number one, and it could be a really awesome Scotty Young variant, so that's why it could have some value, but again, we don't know what it is, so that's why it's down at number nine, but at number eight, actually, this really nice, uh, I can't zoom in anymore, um, that's too much. We got this really nice Super Loss number 7. I don't know if this is supposed to be an homage to Scarface, but that's what I'm getting when I look at it. Uh, I don't think there's any spec value. Super Cross Spectre is a possibility. Yeah, I didn't think there was any spec value in here, but um, it, I love this cover, so I wanted to point that out uh, at my number 8. And at number seven, and I think this might be the last actual cover buy, and that is going to be this beautiful Silver Surfer Rebirth Legacy number one. This is the second print, John Tyler Christopher variant. Now, it's a John Tyler Christopher that's not an action figure variant, so that's pretty cool. But also, the first print was on my list, but this second print is so much cooler. The only thing is, he's doing the snap and doesn't have the Infinity Stones, so I think that's kind of whack. But... Uh, pardon my what 90s <laughs> slang there. Uh, anyway, I just you know dating myself, but anyway, um, yeah, so this is gonna be my uh number seven pick here. We already jumped through the first four, so let's get on to number six with Crypt of Shadows number one, and this one. It, it's probably one of those that's like outside the actual universe or whatever the continuity as they say but it does have the first appearance of the bricklayer and he is a villain who does actually face off with the scarlet witch so i know there's issues with Liz elizabeth olsen and marvel so we don't know what's going on with uh with marvel but i do i would have loved if they did a crypt of shadows because i've been getting them the last couple years and those, these books are really good, and it would be really fun if they had done something like that on Disney Plus for uh, like a series of these Halloween-related type stories. Uh, they could have even done like a what-if, you know, horror edition for the month of October, and then you could do a what-if like fall edition for Thanksgiving, like type of thing, and then you could do a what-if like there. They could have done so much stuff. Like there's books for all these holidays and everything for different characters and. Disney doesn't know what they're doing with Marvel and it is really unfortunate and ridiculous because not only could I could you I mean pretty much all of us fans if you're watching this could give them good stories and ideas of what to do but that because it's good that would lead to subscribers and then also would lead to more money so uh, and that would just make Marvel more successful. So anyway, enough of my ranting there. Let's get into my top five. And at number five, we have uh, uh, sorry, Wolverine 
Um, this is where the Weapons of Vengeance run. This is part three. So this is num Wolverine number 36. This is the second print, but it's the first appearance of the Helverine, which I think is really cool. It's like a Ghost Rider Wolverine mix. But what I really wanted to show is... Uh, I put them together, but I think this one might have a little bit more value than at number five, and then that's because, again, you know my favorite, a second print, one for 25 variant, but not only that, it is a key, the first appearance of Helverine. So I think this could end up having some legs uh, if I end up doing some research to see what it's going for now, if at anything then uh, I'll put that here. Otherwise, if I can't find anything, I probably won't do that. But so let's go ahead and move on to number four. And at number four, we have Miles Morales, number 11. And this one is, so it's a possible first appearance. So I, that's why it's kind of like lower. Usually Miles Morales is higher, but I put it at number four because it's one of those that could be good value if it is the first appearance. But I didn't want to put it too high in case it's a complete miss. But um, in the solicitation for number 12, there's a, a terrifying new foe mentioned who, you know, anytime they mention it, unless they say like enter or this is the first appearance you could possibly get a, even if they say first appearance you could get a cameo or a, even you know like arguable first appearance in the issue before that's the case here so 11 could possibly be this first appearance or cameo of the character who is in the solicitation for number 12. I did want to show you this quick, uh, the Sarah Pacelli new Champions variant right here. I don't know if this could end up being a new character or anything like that, but it looks like a character that we haven't seen before that happens to be in a Miles Morales costume, and you know how Spider-Verse is going and all that, so there you go. Alright, so number three, um, we have Green Lantern, number four, and never would have thought that would be my number three. But anyway, Green Lantern, number four. So it's guest starring The Flash, but the reason it's in here is because it's a new character debut, Sinsen. So after Sinestro's attack, so it talks about Sinestro. Um, plus, meet the all new character, Sinsen, in the first installment of the prelude story to the upcoming Sinister Sons. So I don't know if he's a son of, Sin of Sinestro, but it's Sin Son, Sinestro's son, and. I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but Sinestro is my favorite villain of all time. Uh, and I actually have his whole run from, what was it, 2014 or 15. The only two full runs I have are Batman Eternal uh, from about that time and Sinestro. That was like the perfect storm of my interest peaked in, um, in comic books with time to read comic books with the money to buy each of one of the, the new books um i do have a lot of the star wars run from around then i believe it's the jason aaron run but i think i stopped around like 15 or something like that so anyways um i did want to show you that uh, i wonder if this character let me see if i can zoom in right here is them if that's since oh sinson so you might want to consider picking up this one for 25 because that has the so it says cover c um but when i'm on here like i don't s oh so this is actually cover a sorry when i was looking at i looked at it wrong let's see is he on cover a it doesn't look like it so not cover a not cover b but cover c the one for 25 so that might be the one you want to pick up now let's go past here and see if there's a one for 100 that's just a connecting with godzilla so yeah so that one for 25 for green lantern if you're interested is something you may want to pick up again if i can see some current prices on this one again it's probably going to go up as it, before it comes out but i'll put that here and next up at Number two, we have Spider Boy number one. And you'll see why this is number two, even though, for I don't know, for me, it's just so, it's gonna be so over ordered that I don't know if it's gonna have much value, but I feel like this has to be in the top three. And it's just, you know, it's number two. So, Secrets of, one, of Spider Boy revealed, 
And then also we have this John Tyler Christopher negative space variant, which is just awesome. It's one of the greatest negative space variants I think I've ever seen. And then uh, we have this Spider Boy number one. This is the Scotty Young variant. So you got Dan Slott and Mark Bagley um, spinning out. Oh, the, spinning out of those pages. I don't know if that means that this is from that or if they're in this. Let's see, Dan Slott cover sweater. Okay, so I don't know if Mark Bagley is in this one. So anyway, um, that's my number two Spider Boy number one. And my number one FOC pick for Final Order Cutoff due next Monday, September 18th, 2023 is Batman and Robin number two cover A. And this is a new villain, Shush, who is a female version of Hush, who was one of Batman's greatest foes, is one of the greatest animated movies, one of the greatest DC properties of all time, in my opinion. So, uh, I don't, I mean, yeah, there's not much else to say, except, so we have the cover A, right? So that's gonna have its own value. However, the Ultimo number one, Batman and Robin number two, the one for 25, Lyrics Lee variant with Shush on the cover, just looking great. I mean, that's some great art there. Um, very Gotham. I mean, it's just chill. Like, it's good. Not too much, not trying to get too fancy or anything. I love it. So anyways, that's my number one. The Batman and Robin number two. You can get cover A for regular price because she is on there. Like the Green Lantern, that one you'd have to get the one for 25. You could get the cover A here, or you can get the one for 25 lyrically variant. And that one, again, if the, I see it, what the value is now, I'll go ahead and put it here. But um, that's my number one for the FOC for this week. Alright everybody, that's going to go ahead and do it for me in this video. I hope you enjoyed my top 10 FOC comic picks for Final Order Cutoff due next Monday, September 18th, 2023. Again, if you liked any of those books from DC, you're going to want to go ahead and get those in with anything else from Lunar by end of day Sunday, September 17th, 2023. I did want to ask you if you did like this video, please click that thumbs up to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel to see more great comic book and collectible content. Comment down below, let me know what you thought about this video and my picks and even my analysis if you want to critique that. I'm open for whatever in the comments. Uh, just keep it nice, keep it civil, you know, all that good stuff. Alright, I did want to remind you I am doing my 1k subscriber giveaway if you want to win one of two awesome slabs. I do have my PayPal and my Venmo in the description of the video if you want to support the channel. If you leave a message with your support, I will read it out in the upcoming video. But with all that out of the way, I just want to give a great big thank you to anyone who made it this far. And thanks to anyone who watched this video, really. And until next time...